Hello everyone, welcome back to my main channel. Hi sisters! Ah! Today we're going to talk about 32 beauty secrets that I am going to pass on to my grandchildren. I have so many tips. Ever since I was maybe 12, I've been interested in this stuff and especially because I grew up with acne. I spent hours and hours and hours every day researching natural remedies. How can I look better? How can I fix my skin? So really, I just have a library of knowledge in my brain. Before we get started, guys, the Trover trip is out. If you want to travel with me to Bali in 2024, then go get tickets for the Trover trip. The early bird sold out in 12 hours and we still have around 10 spots remaining. So come join us for the best trip ever. My secret community is launching soon. If you want to be on the wait list, because trust me, everyone will want to be in this society. Get on it now. Triple S Society coming November 30th. Okay, let's get into it. If you have acne, or even if you don't have acne and you just want good skin, every night after your entire skincare routine, mix aloe vera. I just use like the one from the tube. I don't like natural ones. Use one from the tube and mix it with an oil or oils of your choice. I love your jojoba oil almond oil and castor oil sometimes i put grape seed or apricot but these are my top three and when i was younger and i had really really bad acne you guys can watch these videos this is what cured me the nature's republic 92 percent aloe vera i mix this with almond oil every night i scoop it up i put it in my hand it's like a face mask like those korean face masks and i put it all over my skin came up with it myself my skin was glowing it removes the marks it removes any fine lines your skin will be glowing. I prefer this over any mask and I use this mask which is very very expensive but this remedy will make me glow even more. Now if you have acne you do the original step and as a last step put on a pea-sized amount of benzoyl peroxide because if you put benzoyl peroxide directly onto your skin it finally makes my skin red, irritated, my skin just burns off, it flakes and if I don't use this and I only use this my skin tone is phenomenal but I'm getting bumps. This acts as a barrier, but it's still killing the bacteria and working on your acne. Number three, if you have fine lines under your eyes or you're starting to get wrinkles anywhere, smother castor oil over it. Let it absorb and then get Vaseline and put a thick layer over your eyes. And I like to literally smile. So like my fine lines will appear and then I just get it into the crease. One week, if you're young, a couple of weeks if you're older, your fine lines will start to diminish. Tip, if you have a zit, or or even worse, if you have a, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Like, you know the really deep rooted big pimples? Hydrocortisone cream on immediately, just sm smother it all on. And how I figured this out was when I was 14, I got one of those in the middle of my nose. I'm telling you, it took five months to go away because it left scar tissue here. But when I put hydrocortisone cream, it flattened it out. Don't use it excessively, only use it when you have one of these stubborn big pimples. Otherwise, it's going to thin your skin out, so use it sparingly. But I will not even leave the country or travel without having this cream, because you never know when one of those pimples will appear. And when it does, you want to stop it before it gets big. Overnight, it's going to go. Sleep will change your eyes. I've talked about this in every fucking beauty video, I swear, and people don't believe me. When I was younger, I did not have the eye creases I currently have. My eye creases were very, very, very hooded. And I found throughout my high school life when I was not sleeping a lot, my eyes would literally have no creases. And then when I got out of uni and I started to sleep a lot more, suddenly my eyes were lifted. People think I got blepharoplasty. I'm like, you're wild. Because if I were to get surgery, babe, I'm not getting a bleph. I'm getting something else but I don't think I'll get surgery. But random, a simple moisturizer is always the best. This one's my favorite, all the links will be below. In fact, I'll do a skincare routine on my vlog channel. Coconut Water for Beauty, the Brazilian models like Adriana Lima always talk about this, but if you are especially hydrated, either drink coconut water a lot, or you can sprinkle some Himalayan salt into the water. Not enough for you to taste the salt, but enough that it's going to hydrate you. After a night out, if I'm hungover, I pick up coconut water, always. And I find it makes my skin more plump and the fine lines will fill in. Have you ever Googled yourself and were absolutely shocked to see what comes up? How do they know this about me? In fact, guys, I recently paid an AI $20 to find out all this information about a guy because he wouldn't tell me who he was and I thought he was sketchy, so I paid this AI. And if you're in America, for example, you can find out your address, 
your telephone number, all the information. We talk about protection in real life, safety, but we never talk about how can you be safe online. Thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who just want to learn more about you and where you live. Aura can identify these data brokers who are exposing your info and submit an opt-out request because they are actually legally required to do this, but they make it super hard to request this. So let Aura handle it for you. Aura does so much to protect you from online threats that you and your family cannot even imagine are out there. They have their own VPN, parental controls, password management, identity theft, and more, or at a super affordable price. If you pay so much money and use your common sense in real life to protect yourself from physical threats, protect yourself from online threats, financial threats, identity theft threats, etc. If you want to see everyone who's selling your information right now and all the scary stuff about you that's online, you can sign up for Aura's two-week free trial and submit an opt-out request and they will do it for you. And afterwards, if you're really enjoying it, then you can sign up. So go to my link here, guys, do your two-week free trial and see who is stealing your information right now. The best hair oil, Moroccan oil. This Moroccan oil. When I was in Dubai, Bangkok, terrible water, my hair will go all frizzy. The moment I get my hands on Moroccan oil again, silky, beautiful hair. This can lead into the next point, TikTok. TikTok has figured this out already. Castor oil and rosemary oil is amazing for your hair. My specific recipes, actually, I put a few drops of cedarwood oil in it, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, about three to five drops of each, and then I put castor oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, coconut oil. Every oil I have, I mix it together. Castor oil will always remain supreme and rosemary oil for growing your hair. And you can even like hang your head upside down for 10 minutes and massage it and the blood will flow and your hair will get longer. Another acne tip, drink a lot of green tea. Green tea is great for acne. I would literally boil a whole pot, drink that while I'm studying. It would be two tea bags and then I'll get the tea bag and put it all over my skin after because that will help fade the acne scars and also it's a great tone off your skin. You're also getting all the antioxidants. If you want to reduce your androgen levels, you have PCOS or, you know, acne as a symptom of PCOS or another condition. It usually means you have high androgen levels, which is a male hormone. And a way to reduce this naturally is through drinking spearmint tea. Spearmint tea, uh, you can't really find it in Australia. You have to order it online. If you have a sugar craving, you want to reduce inflammation in your body, you want to have glowing skin, turmeric latte. The Indians are ahead of their time. Turmeric latte is the best thing I ever discovered. This will curb your sugar craving for real. And you can even topically apply turmeric to your skin. I used to make a mask with glycerin and turmeric and honey. Put it on, peel it off, it leaves your skin glowing but just know it's going to stain. But it's super great for anti-aging, getting a glow to your skin, and also removing hyperpigmentation. The next point, arguably the most important, something that I'm gonna slap my grandchildren if they don't do, wear sunscreen every day. I don't care if it's cloudy, raining, it's winter, you're like, oh, I'm not even going in the sun. If you're near a window, if you're in a car, you need sunscreen, okay? My favorites are linked below. Sunscreen is one of the primary contributors to premature aging. I'll give you an example. I'm not someone who tans. Look at me, I'm pale, like, hello. I, I could be in twilight. <laughs> Cleared some shelves off in the bathroom. Oh, right. One ba Money, sex, cat. Uh, my dog's called Bella. I must be Edward. Anyways, <laughs> what was I saying? I forgot. I have a memory issues. Let me know if you got a memory hack for early onset Alzheimer's. Kidding. So I never ever tan. I have the gene that tans slowly. As in, someone can go in the sun for one hour and get a tan. That one hour will probably take me maybe 12 hours of gradual exposure to get a tan. So when I was in Bali and Bangkok for two months this year, I got a tan by the very end, which faded in two weeks. By the time it faded, not only did I have a lot of moles come up, which I needed to get checked for skin cancer, but I had five times as many fine lines on my face than I did before. Aging, that's what the sun does to you. Take care of your skin, 
stay out of the sun, wear a hat. Dude, I live in Dubai now. I'm not in Dubai right now, but I live in Dubai. Do you see this? I would not leave my house now without a sun hat on. I'm not letting the sun see me because I don't want to age. In fact, this is not good enough, you guys. An even bigger hat. This is gonna be me. Ooh, actually, remind me, everyone, to take this to Dubai. Point is, I don't care if you think you look silly, you need a hat. Ladies, if you wanna stay young and beautiful, you need a hat. But do not neglect getting in sunlight, you need vitamin D. Try not to go out during peak hours of sun. <laughs> Okay. The next one, we talk about it a lot, and it's also really popular on TikTok now. Mewing. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. That's correct, tongue posture. If you do not have access to masks, I've given you a couple of natural remedies already, but a great one that we all have in our fridge, an ingredient we can just use, Greek yogurt. This was my go-to in high school. I just smother Greek yogurt all over my face. Natural brightener. Girls in Asia, they use it all the time. And it also contains lactic acid, so it's exfoliating your skin as well. Leading to the next point, never ever ever use a manual exfoliant. Anything where you need to harshly scrub onto your skin, not good. You want to use something like a lactic acid, a glycolic acid, that will naturally exfoliate for you. Even retinol will exfoliate your skin for you. And I've seen a lot of your guys' skincare routines, and people go, I'm applying eye cream. No. From a young age, my mother always said, fourth finger, you apply gently with your fourth finger because your fourth finger does not have a lot of pressure. You never want to tug at your skin. You never want to rub your eyes. If you want to rub your eyes, bitch, you get your finger like that. I don't want to see you do this. <laughs> Wrinkles. You want healthy glowing skin with makeup. Mix your primer and your foundation together. I use VDL, VDL is a Korean brand, very affordable, best foundation I've ever used. Best primer I've ever used actually, and I mix these together, oh, wow, so good. Blood circulation has a lot to do with anti-aging. So when you are applying your skincare moisturizer uh, serum, slap it on. This is actually a tip from Russia. I found it when I was younger as well. I realized very early on, I'm like, why are Russian women so beautiful, have such good skin? Number one, you know, they invest in a lot of treatments, but two, it's cause it's very cold in their country as well. The cold is really good for your skin, which is why I say, try to stay out of the heat, out of the sun. But thirdly, like this Russian supermodel was saying, like I always slap it onto my skin to get good blood circulation. Next point, sleep on your back. It will lead to asymmetry. It can cause a lot of issues like TMJ. If you're putting too much pressure onto one side, you'll get a lopsided face. Train yourself to sleep on your back like an absolute corpse. Do you guys remember Magdalena Frakowiak? Before she dropped off the face of the planet, but she, 37 now, she has baby skin. She says, I sleep like a corpse on my back and I drown my face in oil every night. Always wear sunglasses. If you don't wear sunglasses, you're gonna squint, you're gonna get wrinkles. <laughs> and also, if you're in a hot country like Australia, or it's just summertime where you are, you can get this little yellow thing in your eye, which is permanent. In fact, I have a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. A normal person would not detect it in me, only an eye specialist, but it's there because I live in Australia. So in order to stop it from getting worse and even getting it in the first place, you want to wear sunglasses. I will not leave my house without sunglasses. Reduce your sugar intake and reduce inflammation in your body. Inflammation will lead, will lead to premature aging, looking puffy as well, and also a host of other health issues in your body. So, you know, drink that turmeric latte, but at the same time, you want to reduce your sugar intake. I don't even think it's normal to have sugar cravings. I never have sugar cravings. When I get sugar cravings, it's usually because my diet's been really bad. So now my body craves that sugar. But now I can walk by the sweets aisle and I don't even want it. You can put a cake in front of me. I might only eat a little bit because I just don't crave eating sugar. If you have frizzy hair and you're doing the hair oiling, it's still not enough, you're using Moroccan oil, try to do an apple cider vinegar rinse. I used to do this at the end of my showers when I had damaged hair. I would mix like one part ACV, four parts water, Pour it all over your hair at the end. You don't need to rinse it out and then dry it and it will be so much smoother. Again, we talked about the face slapping. Massage your face upwards. Never drag it down. Never go like this. Never pull your face down. Always 
Why do you think when you get a facial massage, they always go like this? They're never dragging and pulling your skin down. They're lifting it up. You want smooth skin all over your body, moisturize, but also you can bathe in milk. Just put like one cup of milk in there. <laughs> it's really good for your skin. If you have hair loss and you also want a nice little natural wave, sleep in a plait or a braid. When you braid your hair, that is when you're least likely to lose hair in your sleep. When you're on your period, ladies, do not eat cold foods. This is Chinese traditional medicine. Cold foods in general, they're really bad for our reproductive organs and you should not be drinking cold water, you should be drinking lukewarm water. No ice cream, no ice. You can read into it more. Bad for our reproductive organs and if you know TCM, if your organs are unhealthy, it's gonna to start to show in your face. Another beauty tip, we talked about how important sleep is and how it will show on your face, but you never ever want to sleep too much. Sleeping too much is just as bad as under sleeping and it will show on your face. Meditation is going to help you look younger and more beautiful because it, because it lengthens your telomeres because your stress is being reduced. Another beauty tip, posture. I talk about it in every video. What is a surefire way to immediately look more attractive to people. You know, people always compliment me on my posture because I walk like, I strut. My posture, it's up. But if you're like this, do you think someone like this is as attractive as someone that is upright? Like, hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I have one more point. You can look into this, but there are certain acupressure points on your hands and even on your feet that you can press which will help detoxify your organs and make you look more beautiful for example i know if you have red eyes tired eyes there are certain spots you can press and at the back of your neck so yeah guys these are i think 32 or more beauty tips that i'm gonna pass on to my children and my grandchildren and now i pass on to you by the way i've tried all these things i've been doing it since i exited the womb don't forget to sign up for the trover trip and the Triple S Society is coming soon. It's gonna be the best community on planet Earth. Everyone will want to be in it. Move over Andrew Tate. Triple S Society is here. Okay. Ich liebe dich. Tschüss. Over and over, honey. 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 Over and over